All right, so we are back for the So You Want to Be a Hero series, uh, How to PvP Hunter. And you can see I'm level 6, so we're going to go ahead and try to get to level 10 today. That way we can start doing battlegrounds. So let's go ahead and enter the world. Alright, and here you can see I'm exactly where I last logged off. Let's scoot some things around. I did take Omen, the add-on, off since, like I said, this is strictly for PvP purposes, so it's not there. Although, most of the things I'm teaching you in this series can help for your PvE play as well. Um, alright, so let's see which quest is the closest. We have Falcons right here, so I'll probably, actually, I will probably go up this way, all the way to uh, this quest, come back to this one, and then grab this one. So make a big giant circle. So. Let's go ahead, check our inventory. Um, I have some stuff I could sell. You always want to sell the things you don't need before you travel out and about. And so, there's also another quest right here. So I'm going to go check and see what that quest is. And while I'm up here, I'm going to pick up first aid because first aid, even though it's a pain in the buta, it is definitely well worth it because in those sticky situations when you just have just enough time to get away from whoever's chasing you, you can heal if you don't have a healer around you. So it's definitely, definitely very important. And while we're on our way to this quest over here for the Emerald Dreamcatcher, we are going to go ahead and pick up any fall cones we see. That way it saves us time later. I'm gonna go ahead and pull with Steady Shot. And then we'll cast an arcane shot. And there you see our pet picked up the target. And you have your threat meter right there. Which isn't really helpful during PvP, but it's definitely something to watch for while you're leveling to get to be able to enter battlegrounds. Or when you're doing a quest here and there trying to get good gear if you want to twink your tune out because they did implement the new well it's not really new anymore but they implemented the system where you can freeze your XP gain so that twinking is still a viable thing nowadays which probably levels 10 through 19 you're going to see me die a lot simply because of the people who have twinked their characters out because that's a very popular uh, twinking leveling area level area I guess um, the other one is 50 to 60 where you have death knights and that's not really twinking because the starter gear of death knights is so strong that you don't really need any other upgrades but that would be the other major one that I'm kind of concerned about but there are if you know your class well enough as a hunter they will be no problem 
Oh, and see you. You can see I already completed the Falcon quest, just coming this direction first. So that's always splendiferous. Let's go ahead and kill this mystic. And an important thing about hunters is don't get yourself in a situation that you can't get out of. Always have a way to run back. Um, you don't want to just like, I don't want to kill this guy and then go kill that guy next. And then, you know, make my line. I want to kill mobs on both sides that will aggro me. That way, if I have to run or like later on further in the game, if I have to disengage, I know that nothing is behind me that will pick up aggro on me while I'm trying to run away if I need to be running. So there you can see I got level 7. Only 3 more levels left and we will be in business. So let's go ahead and take this guy out even though we don't need him for the quest. He will get in our way so let's go ahead and loot him. Also, I don't think I said this in the first episode, but the reason that you want to have your camera zoomed out a little bit is so that you can see if somebody's running up behind you in PvP, and you just have a wider view range. Some people go they zoom their cameras out further than this even, but it's just kind of a personal preference, but you definitely don't want it to be like the stationary range that it starts you at at the beginning of the game because if you're doing pvp it's just way too close because it's an easy it, it would be an easy way to get uh, snuck up on by anything not regardless of class um not just rogues or druids Now this one's going to be a little tricky because when I pull this guy, I'll probably also pull that one. But I want to go ahead and take the mystic out first because it'll probably be easier. So make sure I have full focus because I'm taking on two targets rather than one. And let's get started. If I can kill it before my... Well, it didn't even aggro. I was going to say, if I could kill it before my pet gets up there, we should be good. But it didn't matter this time. So. And there you saw me backpedal a little bit just because I didn't take out this mystic right here. Like I should have. Um. But I'm trying to cut some cut some corners here. Which maybe isn't the best way to do things, but since this is mainly about a PvP hunter cutting corners are during leveling, for instance, um, it's fine for me. I'm not too worried about it. I'm not really too worried about dying at these early levels either, which I probably won't simply because I've played through this so many times. I mean, it's still possible, don't get me wrong. Um, but you know. Go ahead and take out this rare. And 
and all he gave me was a bag. But that's okay. Bags are useful. I pick this up, travel back to Dolinar, turn in any quest that we have to turn in there on our way to complete the other ones. Now I know this is taking the longer way around, but I just don't want to have to fight anybody. <laughs> I'm being lazy, I'm sorry. Now see, I'm just using the strafe button here to stay ahead of it. I completely let go of the W key, but because I was turning my camera and pressing A, I was just running in a straight line. I had already checked my mini-map and visually and saw there was nothing in my way that would aggro, so that's why I ran like that. To make sure that the uh, night saber wouldn't catch up with me. So that's definitely an important move, um, both with PvE and PvP. I know that's repetitive, but it is important to continue to, you know, think about things like that. Like, make yourself do those silly little repetitive, easy things that you're like, oh, that's, that's cake. I don't need to do it every five seconds. It's not going to be hard to remember or do in a situation. But if you do do the repetitive things over and over again that are cake, it, they become second nature to you and you don't even have to think about it. You just do it. So that's, you, you kind of want to, here, let's put it this way. Your brain is basically a hard drive. It's, it's a machine. It records information. So you program that hard drive, that machine, to do things a certain way. And then it, it's like right there. It just knows that that's what it's supposed to do and does it. Kind of like an auto run, auto run feature of a program. Okay, I am going to go up here and set this as my end because I remembered I never did. <laughs> Got so sidetracked that I never did that. Um, Except move my hearthstone over to here, even though that's not really important. Um, first aid, also put it on this bar. Go ahead and make some bandages really quick. And I'm going to put my bandages right about here for now. Um, yeah, that seems like a decent place to put them, I guess. And now my bars are messed up.
nope, they're gonna stay there. So I'm gonna go ahead, since that's gonna bother me. It's going to be the end of everything. Um, I have this quest to fly to Dolinar, so... I mean, not Dol Dolinar, Darnassus. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fly there and turn in that quest. And log out while I'm in Darnassus. Just so that action bar bug will go away. Because that's no fun, so... Yeah. What is this? Oh, Dark Moon Fair. I could always get someone to teleport me to do the Dark Moon Fair quest, but I'm not too worried about it right now. So, um, before I turn in this quest that I just picked up, I'm going to go to the entrance of Darnassus because I have one of the fire festival quest to turn in. So I'm gonna go ahead and run up here and turn in that quest. Simply to get it out of my log and so I don't forget in the future. when the fire festival ends. Aww, it already ended. Then why is this guy still here? Or is he still here? Nope, not here anymore. Well, way to go. Way to go, Melly. At least I still have the buffs, so that's a thing. It's what I get for not playing for forever and forgetting these things. Let's go ahead and abandon that quest then. Run, 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 run back this way. It looks so weird seeing the alliance board instead of the hot, uh, the horde board, which rhymes, but was very difficult to say anyway. <laughs> bum, 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 ba -da bum, bum. Okay, this one complete, except I'm gonna log out really quick. Oh, log back in, and my bars should be fixed. Oh, excuse me. Yay! Okay. Go back to Dolinar. Nope, sorry. Scratching my nose and hit my mic. Because I'm a clumsy motherfucker. 
<laughs> and a stupid one. I have a stupid face. Stupid, stupid face and humor and things. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about anyway. I don't even know. Dum, dum, dum. How cool would it be to have like one of these little phoenix, not phoenix, hypergriff things in real life? And be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna skip the mass transit and you know, just fly over there. No big deal. No big deal. Don't worry about it. Do you have anything to train me in? Oh, you do! Concussive shot! Yes! Who's excited? This girl. This girl is excited right here. And I got parry, but that's not important. <laughs> it is important, but it's passive, so I don't have to worry about it at all. 